Good afternoon learners. Welcome to NIOS. And today we will be covering chapter 17 in your syllabus that is India past and present. We were discussing Gandhiji and how Nehru was actually praising Gandhiji's revolutionary work. He was complimenting Gandhiji's revolutionary work and but still he wanted a change in the mindset of the citizens of India. Science and technology, he said, will be able to solve the problem of providing primary necessities of life to everyone all over the world. Nehru finds it remarkable that people who refused to change in the past are now marching forward with speed and determination. People who were rigid earlier, people who did not want to change, were now changing and wanted to, you know, just walk on the path of progression. Nehru's vision is of a prosperous India. Material progress for the vast population. He also hopes that conflicts that take place in the name of religion, caste or region should stop. He wants India to be vibrant. It's democracy on a socialist pattern. He wants a casteless and a classless society. So in his speech, he's emphasizing on creating a classless and a casteless society. Nehru, like you must have noticed, has a deep knowledge of Indian history. He appears to be concerned and does not speak in a language of hate and anger. He is a man of science and has deep faith in science and technology. So let's discuss some aspects of ancient India that filled Nehru with pride. So he's, he's, he's proud of India's strong and energetic race. He is proud that people here are eager to know and have a spirit of curiosity. He is proud of the mature and tolerant civilization. He is proud that people here and especially the leaders are forever searching for truth and spiritual knowledge. In medieval India, the situation changed for worse. And why is Nehru not happy with medieval India? Yes, he agrees that, in the, that medieval India was a place of freshness and youth. But old age and bad temper gained ground. He is unhappy with the narrow caste divisions and customs which became, you know, very important in medieval India. India was invaded by Mughals and Islams. He doesn't like medieval India because, you know, here divisions took over, divisions took place because of caste and old traditions. But he still says that India was saved by her ability to adapt to the great changes and influences that came in. And India never forgot her past glories and traditions. Negative efforts of Western invasion was exploitation of people and resources by foreigners. The positive effect was the impact of the fresh European ideas and knowledge. Europeans bought industrial revolution early in our country. He did not like the European or the British invasion. He said that, you know, it, it, uh, the Europeans took advantage and exploited a lot of Indian resources. But one thing that he is happy with the European invasion is that at least they bought industrial revolution in the country. And because of that, fresh ideals and knowledge came into place. So in the speech, you know, if we are discussing some of Nehru's tasks, so he wanted to choose the best structure that will lead the country to prosperity and progress. He wanted to stir people to take action and bring change. Nehru's task was made difficult by the disturbance and confusions of the time. He was clear that he wanted to create a structure and he wanted to lead the country to prosperity and progress. He was sure, he was certain that he wanted to encourage and stir people to take action and bring change. But yet he was, you know, he had to face lot of disturbances and confusions of the time. Learners, let's go through some important words from the text. 
So the first word virile means masculine. Somebody who has immense strength and energy. Vigorous means strong and energetic race. So he is calling Indians vigorous. Why? Because we are a strong and an energetic race. Tolerant, understanding. Okay, somebody, you know, you can easily understand that person. That person is very open-minded. Ceremonials, it basically refers to conducting religious or public ceremonies or events. Rapidity means quickness, speediness, swiftness. Privileges are basically rights given to a person. Socialis socialism learners, which Nehru talks about, that he wants a socialist society. So basically, socialism is a political and economic theory of social organization, which advocates that the means of production, distribution and exchange should be owned and regulated by the community as a whole. That the resources should be divided equally among the people. Resolute means determined, firm or fixed. Now learners, let's discuss some important questions and answers from the text. So, you can choose one or more than one correct answer. What role does Nehru give to science and technology? I am just reading out the options. Okay, You can choose either one or two. Science and technology are able to provide the basic needs of all people of the world. Science and technology are able to provide the economic and industrial development. Science and technology are able to provide luxuries to modern society. Science and technology were able to liberate us from the Britishness. So choose the correct answer learners. Come on. Let's test your knowledge. Yeah, you are correct. The answer is A. Science and technology are able to provide the basic needs of the people of the world. That is why Nehru is giving lot of importance to science and technology. Next question. What various good things we got to learn from India's past? Come on learners. India used to be a strong energetic race. India used to be a country for tourists from around the world. People were filled with curiosity and wanted to gain knowledge. India used to be a hub for advancements in science and technology. Choose one. What did we learn from India's past? One or more than one? Very good. The first and the C part. A and C. India used to be a strong and energetic race. And next, people were filled with curiosity and wanted to gain knowledge. Next, third question learners. What various bad things we got from India's past? What, what are the bad things that we got from medieval India which Nehru just hates? Come on, you know the answer. This is very easy. Excellent. A. The petty divisions over caste and religion. Next question. What saved India from complete deterioration? She could adapt herself way well to the changing conditions and adjust to the new influences. She never forgot the values and traditions. She could become a prosperous nation as soon as we gained freedom. She had leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Nehru. Choose one or more than one correct answer. Come on learners. Very good. A and B part. She could adapt herself well to the changing conditions and adjust to the new influences. And yet, India never forgot the values and traditions. Next question learners. What aspects of ancient India fill Nehru with pride and wonder? Come on. Very good. That your answer is correct. Strong and energetic race. You know, people here had a spirit of curiosity. And we were very mature and a tolerant civilization. Excellent learners. Next, what negative effect have western invasion had on our country? 
okay so we've discussed this in the speech come on you have to answer the correct uh, the correct option very good a europeans took advantage of indians and their resources with nehru hates why did he like invasion why because he is you know he he's angry with the european invasion why because europeans took a lot of advantage of india's resources next according to nehru what is the conflict that we face today come on learners choose the correct option very good a part you know at present we are figuring out the best way forward into the future and yet we are trying very hard to maintain our rich and cultural tradition so learners next question so you have to state whether the following statements are true or false okay let's begin with part a Nehru is making this speech in a period of stability many years after India won her independence come on learners is it true or is it false yes it is false it is just right uh, you know right after the independence not many years after independence just right after the independence when nehru is giving his famous speech next there is confusion and worry in nehru's mind about the best way forward is it true or is it false it is true he is you know there is confusion and worry in his mind he is not clear on how to move forward okay third part nehru is against change is it true or false it is false nehru wants change he wants transition fourth d part nehru is a man of science and has faith in the powers of technology learners is it true or false it is true yes nehru is a man of science and has complete faith in technology e part nehru does not want to does not want a complete break with the rich traditions of the past true he does not want he wants you know he he wants to move forward yet he wants to keep the rich traditions uh, intact very good learners now in the speech by nehru there are many pairs of opposites that are there in the chapter for example what is the opposite of advance inertia and what are opposites opposites are basically words which mean different so basically let's discuss some opposites for example near what is the opposite of near far what is the opposite of timidity rashness rashness opposite of future past opposite of spiritual material cabined free next opposite of persuade is dissuade agree the opposite of agree is disagree the opposite of work is play the opposite of success is failure the opposite of brief is extended the opposite of social is anti social the opposite of bright is dark the opposite of criticize is to praise the opposite of soften is harden now learners let's do another exercise let's fill in the blanks okay so you need to make some necessary changes in the form of the words to make your sentences grammatically correct even hard on criminals can be dash by praise and dash only hardens them further so you have to choose uh, the word softened and criticism okay so i can do the first one for you even hard and criminals can be softened by praise criticizing only hardens them further now you have to do the next one on your own the meeting began on a bright and happy note unfortunately as the dash increased the mood became dash and angry so basically the word here is disagreement and talk 
okay so you have to put disagreement and dark in the correct form come on learners do it excellent the meeting began on a bright and happy note unfortunately as the disagreement increased the mood became dark and angry next don't be sad because you have failed dash is the stepping stone to dash so the word is failure and success so you have to put the right form of the word in the blanks come on learners answer the question don't be sad because you have failed dash is the stepping stone to dash excellent failure is the stepping stone to success next sometimes human behave in an dash way they forget all their rules of social behavior and use dash ways okay let me do that for you sometimes human behave in an inhuman way they forget all their rules of social behavior and use anti social ways okay let's proceed forward so here learners you have to put the verb in the correct form you can use either present continuous or simple present tense and the verb has been provided to you in the bracket for example river ganga dash into the bay of bengal i'm doing the first one for you river ganga flows into the bay of bengal okay now you have to do the next one please turn the tap of water dash down the drain very good water is flowing down the drain the train is never late it always dash on time very good it always leaves on time there has been an accident the train very good the train is running late today can you drive yes i have done that already can you drive i am learning next my mother dash me sorry my father dash me my father is teaching me very good now learners in the back exercises of the chapter we have also learned like what is a summary so let me do that let me just brush up your skill again summary is a shortened form of a text you only cover important text and important sentences in a summary it requires selections of what is important and rejections of what is not for making a summary learners it is essential to make notes you can make notes on a paper or in your mind thus note making is the first stage of making a summary but once the summary is made notes are irrelevant so so you know so if you have to make a summary for example if you have to make a summary of this chapter you must make notes and short notes you can't be detailed in a summary summary basically covers only the important points the sentences could be put aside or discarded as rough work for summary in a summary the important points are presented in a logical order in the form of a paragraph or paragraphs the facts are stated in a straightforward direct style without any ornamentation or examples so if you are writing a summary learners you must use a very straightforward and a direct style you cannot use examples and you cannot use flowery language in a summary summary has to be very direct and it has to be very short okay learners i hope today's lesson has proven to be beneficial to you i'll see you again thank you for listening and attending thank you